Hey, 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 y'all. I am Yvette Lloyd, host of Life Her Podcast. And I have some things to talk about. It's been a while. I'm back. Full effect. I will say healed, but not completely healed. But I do have an amazing Bible verse that I had used due to my breaking season. Um, What I mean by breaking season, when I took a break for me, um, after losing my mom and losing my husband, I lost my business. I just took many losses and I got to a point where I just needed to sit down in silence for a while. But one of the um, verses is Proverbs 24, 16. No matter how many times you fall, tell us that you can always get back up again. The righteous will stumble, but they will always find a way to get back on their feet. So if you are feeling lost alone, never give up because help is on the way. With faith, it is impossible to fail. And that is something that I really read on many occasions because I felt like I was just so lost. I felt like I had no direction in life anymore. I couldn't really do much as I usually do. Um... You know, losing my mom, I didn't know I would lose myself to a point of my identity. And then after losing my mom, losing my husband, I lost another part of my identity. And what I mean by that is, you know, when somebody raised you and they around you and they taught you so many things, a walk of life. I'm used to talking to her every day and everything. I'm thinking, how am I going to get through life without her, without hearing her voice, without telling me things that I'm doing right, things that I'm doing wrong, holding myself accountable for many things? Who's going to keep it real with me like my mama? You know, a lot of times people just hold things in and don't be honest with you. And I'm so used to honesty when someone is straightforward, uncut and raw with everything. So I struggle with that a lot because I struggle to hear her voice and hear her say many things to me. And I couldn't grasp it. I couldn't hear it. I had to play back different things on what she would say or things that she did say. And it was a struggle for me to actually find myself in that area. And then also with me losing my husband right behind that, you know, you marry someone, you plan on spending the rest of your life with them. You made so many plans together, trying to do so many things and like reaching goals and talking about vacations or having children. You have your your whole life planned out, but not knowing that. After like so long, we've been married for two years at the time and that person is just gone overnight and just you were just talking to them, telling them you love them and talking about more goals and things that you're going to do and everything. And then the next morning you find them gone. That's like it's it's very, very hurtful. It it just. It was a lot on me of seeing all of that, experiencing all of it, and not actually taking a break for myself. Um, I had got to a point where I was like sleeping during the day and I was up all night because I had to face reality. Like these people are the most important people in my life and they're gone. And I had to relive it again of knowing that it's not a dream, it's reality. I won't never speak to them again. I won't ever do many things that I've been doing. So over time, I have dealt with many health complications with myself. Um, I have PCOS and then I didn't know what was going on with my body as far as like my stomach issues. I didn't know if I had Crohn's, colitis. I didn't know different things I was having. I didn't even know or realize that I was gaining weight because I I just didn't look at myself in the mirror all like that anymore. So it was just me just going about my business, making sure I do what I do. And then next thing you know, I end up getting like sickly all the time. So I just had to get to a point where who who loved me more than me? 
And I had to choose me. I had to choose myself. Um, I had to choose God. I had to choose faith. I had to choose continue on to move forward in life and holding my purpose on why I am here because I've learned a lot of things of losing people in your life. You like for the, the two weeks of someone finding out somebody passed away before the funeral, you hear from people all the time. You hear them say, I'm praying for you. I'm going to be there for you. Um, sorry for your condolences. And you can reach out to me anytime. And I'm here. Just you hearing all of this all the time. I didn't hear it once. <laughs> I heard it twice within a year. And what I learned is after the two weeks of that funeral, all you got is you. And you don't even have or don't even see 98% of the people ever again. You don't talk to them. They not worried about what you're doing and everything. Everybody's life go on. You can't be mad at them that their life go on because that's what they have to do. And that's what you have to understand. And you learn a lot of people's characteristics when things like that happen too. And you can't, you can't entertain other hurt people when you're hurting too. And I had to learn that also because I'm hurt too, but I know they're hurt also. But what would these three minutes of my time confronting them, arguing with them, slapping them, doing any and everything out of God's hands and to a point, I just feel like I'll just disappoint him at that moment. You know, maybe he's he make he's having me go through this for a reason. I didn't know. I wasn't even thinking about that. So I'm just at a point now where I'm just really focused on me. I am trying to um, work out more, get my body together, get my health together, eating habits, um, habits of building more wealth in my family, making investments, just doing other amazing things. But one thing I do want to say is um, having faith uh, is very hard for certain people to continue to have that. Um, when you have faith, you find yourself giving up, of course. But in the midst of it, you have to understand what's going on during that storm. You have to evaluate and observe many things that's going on in your surroundings. And ask yourself, why is this happening? And look at the people that are involved in it when it's happening. And you have to learn how to be silent. A lot of people don't be silent and observe. They always want to argue back or say what they got to say and go back and forth with people. Things of that nature. It could just be anything. But you have to learn your silence. You have to learn the quietness that you have. Because a lot of things is a lot louder than you think when you are in silence. And I have learned that a lot because my silence has become so loud to a point I realized that it's about me. It's about me being successful and me doing things that God wants me to do. And I had learned that me focusing on myself, I find myself having so much peace <laughs> like never before. And just staying in, staying in the Bible, I read different scriptures and everything. I don't go to church. I do read certain things um, and watch um, different podcasts, um, biblical podcast shows. Um, and also, I, I watch different things, <laughs> but just online. But I know where my faith is. I know who my God is. And I know who has me and who has my back and helping me along the way. But during this podcast season, in which we are at season four, I'm like extremely excited about it. And during this season four, I'm going to be a lot more vulnerable. Um, I'm going to be open a lot more of the different things that I have going on in my personal life. And that's where my vlog comes in at. So you will also see my vlog on Life Her Podcast YouTube channel. 
And I usually post a vlog once or twice a week where you actually see different things that I have going on. Um, I'm an entrepreneur myself. I run many businesses and I also do a lot of things for close friends and family. You'll get to meet a lot of them in the midst of everything that I'm doing. And I find it very nice because right now I have a village of healthy relationships um, and everyone is on like this amazing path in life. And I want you guys to be motivated as well and understand that you don't need to give up and you need to learn how to continue to have faith. So me having this moment of um, different solo podcasts that I'm going to be giving y'all, it's going to be very motivating and inspiring. I may even have a guest with me sometimes, somebody that's real close to me and you can get to know them too. But at the same time, this is this is our season for us to worry about ourselves, learn to love ourselves, get to know who we are and not focus on the illusion that we have amongst ourselves. Just knowing exactly who we are within, because a lot of times people will pick up different characteristics from other people when you need to figure out your characteristic of who you are so that you can have your own walk of life. So make sure y'all tune in and just learn so much. And I may be a little funny sometimes. I may be a little spiritual sometimes. I may, you know, do a little things here and there, but just know I am here to share so much of the wisdom that I have, that I have personally experienced on the daily basis. So peace out, y'all.